Excuse me, miss, that mole on your thigh? Yeah. You might want to get that looked at. Melanoma is the most common cancer for women, especially blondes. What's your name? Victor. I'm Terry Daiquiri. It's not my real name. We are not born evil sinners. Are perfect knockoffs of God. The world tells us whether we're heroes or victims, but we can decide for ourselves. My name's Victor. Sometimes the best place to start is at the beginning. What? I am the backbone of colonial America. The tour guide. I'm a historical interpreter. Hi, Victor. How art thou? That's funny. She's an amazing woman, your mother. She's getting worse. She never knows who I am anymore. Who am I today? Some guy named Fred. Oh, you never change, Fred. So now you want to sleep with your mom's doctor. What time do you get off? You don't have to do that. What? Try to have sex with me. Oh, I really do. Satan, 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 Satan. And this is where it kind of goes off the deep end. All I had to do was answer one simple question. What would Jesus not do? You can't fool people into loving you. Want to bet? Apparently, you're capable of having sex with everyone but me. The fact that some part of you resisted turning this into the usual nothing? I think maybe I'm one I'd like you instead. Maybe you're not so bad after all. No, dude, I am. I really am. Show me all the rules, girl. Hey, you changed your hair. Yeah, because of what you said about blondes getting skin cancer. Good thinking. I just want to belong. Welcome to TrailerHits.com. I'm your host, Mitchell, and this is Chelsea, and we're coming to you from Blockbuster Studio. And today we're going to review Choke. Now, this film comes from the same author as Fight Club, and it stars Sam Rockwell as a sex addict who works at a uh, reenactor at Colonial Times. And the namesake of this film comes from the character's um, penchant to go into expensive restaurants and feign choking to create some sort of parasitic relationship with the person who saves him. And I'm telling you, this, this, it looks just from the trailer, it looks hilarious. I love Sam Rockwell. I think that it's just, I mean, it's one of these guy films that really Hollywood just doesn't make anymore and make in a serious way. And for me, I, I'm very excited to see something like this and I give it a big trailer hit. Now, before the, the trailer even rolls, this movie has huge potential with Angelica Houston and Sam Rockwell. However, I felt myself completely struggling to want to see this movie. Now, mentally, I wanted to see it because of the cast. I wanted to see it because of the plot. I wanted to see it because it's the same guy who did Fight Club. And the entire trailer, I tried to get into it, but I just I felt nothing. I wasn't into it at all. It looked kind of contrived. I was fairly bored. Um, so I just feel... Like, it's a definite trailer miss for me. I think MTV, you know, lacks a certain, MTV Films lacks a certain je ne sais quoi at the box office. And uh, it's left them empty handed in the past. I fear for this movie, even though it is a Sundance Film Festival pick, should be enough. But, uh, you know, my love for Sam Rockwell is just not doing it this time. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, but I mean, this is really a, a guy type of film. I mean, of a, of a guy's journey through life. And I think it's, something that, that guys can relate to, but women don't have a certain empathy for. They don't have the empathy for a guy trying to, who sleeps with women, who's trying to discover himself. If a girl sleeps with a lot of guys <laughs> trying to discover herself, that's kind of cool, but for a guy to do the same thing, there's, it, it, there's a double standard there. Well, without getting too much into the double standard, because I believe you're right, there definitely is a double standard. I mean, I, I, I don't even, it's not even a, a moral thing for me, it's just, I wasn't really captivated by, by the trailer, and I, I am a huge Sam Rockwell fan, and I did love Fight Club, and I know that's also a guy's type of movie. For some reason, there was just an element of cheese to it, which I think is actually there on purpose, but for me, it was, it was more off-putting than, than really intriguing, and you might be right, it might be more of a guy's movie. I wanted to enjoy it as well, but it just it didn't do it. I mean, I just I really think that it, it 
not to extrapolate my own life, but sometimes it's not easy being a guy out there, you know, on the scene or out there. And I, I just think that this film can kind of hit on this a little bit. Not that films are, are like real life, but just kind of hit on that theme, which isn't often seen. Anyway, so I give it a hit. I Chelsea give it a gives it a miss. So I'm Mitchell, Chelsea, and you've been watching CherylHits.com.